What's up everyone? Sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. But today I'm going to set up my raised bed. And I'm going to show you guys what's going to go in there. I'm going to pick six um, different kinds of peppers. So, And I'm going to show you some soil that I got. And yeah. Of course they promised you all this stuff right here. Which is totally not true, but hey, anything that will make them sell their products. So, we'll go ahead and open these up, and I'll show you guys the soil that it comes with, and yeah. So, here's the first one. I'm going to open up this amended one. My... Kellogg. Oh, it's Kellogg. Kellogg. I don't know why I said Kroger for. <laughs> but. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I'll get you guys back right now. Alright, so I went ahead and opened up the bag. And as I can see, this stuff is mainly loaded with wood chips it's mainly loaded with you know wood chips that's what mainly is as you guys can see um, I'm just gonna use this just to top dress the, the bed with I have some better stuff in there from last year so I have soil from Fox Farm Ocean Forest, uh, Happy Frog, and um, Salamander by Fox Farms. So, all that's in the bottom. So, when the roots just go down for that, all that nutrients. And I re amended that soil because it was last season's with some of these down-to-earth products and some earthworm castings. I put a full bag of earthworm castings probably the same size or a little bit bigger than this and I put it in this bell, this tub right here and I just mix it all that up and then I just poured it all in there so this is just basically just to top dress the, um, the bed but I do not like the stuff right here. I'm still gonna reamend it even more with these down to earth products. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the bin and then I'm gonna open this up, this other Kellogg's right now. So I put at least a cup of each of the down to earth products, which is fish bone meal neem seed meal some bio life and azomite all in there so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix this other i say half of this um sack right there of this soil into here mix it all up and then dump it and then repeat and yeah let's see how far that goes So this is, it is OMRI certified, listed for organic. We'll see. I have not yet broken up this yet, but as far as I can see here, there's some perlite. Some wood chips, lots of wood chips. So let's break this bad boy up. Let's see. Got my handy dandy garden shovel. Okay, let's break some of this up. Okay. So. 
as far as I can see, it's just more wood chips, perlite. I think it's a. I think I see some azomite as well. That has a mic. What am I saying? Or make a light. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not myself today. But yeah, you can see a little bit of a make a light and uh, some prayer light. I'm going to go ahead and dump some of this in and mix this all up. All right, so the raised bed is done. Um, I went ahead and put six plants one foot away from the edge and about two feet away from the neighbors and one feet across from each other. So I went ahead and laid down some weed blocker so the cat over there won't go in there and think it's one giant litter box. I hope he don't scratch it up. Most likely cats will and most likely he will. So. Um, these are my other plants right here. Um, I have a lot of soil left over. I dumped the rest of the Kellogg's raised bed soil in there. And the amended soil I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to try it out on these fabric pots. And then I have the rest of these right here where I'm gonna um, plant my tomatoes because they need to be planted already. And these, I'll just, if I have some soil left over, I have this one right there, this fabric pot, this pepper that just dried out for the winter, this one also. I'll probably just reuse this soil and just re-amend it. I have this one also, and then I have one more, two more over there. So I just gotta get more soil. So yeah, let me get this done and I'll show you guys uh, after it's all done, what I have transplanted and what I couldn't transplant. So catch you guys later, right now. So I'm done with the tomatoes. Here we have uh, a Roman tomato. We have a uh, early girl tomato. Black cherry tomato. And Rapunzel tomato. So those are my four tomatoes for this season. I have still a little bit of more soil. And then I have some of these cherry tomatoes left and some, uh, I think these are Roman, two Romans. Or no, are they? I'm not sure, but I have some over there also. Uh, okay, well, let's see the peppers. All right, as far as my indoor plants, I have some flowers growing for my mother-in-law. I do not know what kind they are. And right here's my red reaper. And then right here, I have no idea. And then right here, I have the chichimeca pepper. I already have one pod coming up. Well, one pod with spikes that has little spikes on it. And then my beautiful house plant. Look how gorgeous those leaves are. Beautiful. Very beautiful. It's a dark, like fluorescent pink color. Never seen leaves like that before. And the chancla. Then I have some um, peach Carolina Reapers and Butch Tea Trinidad Scorpion. 
So that's it for the inside ones. Check out the peppers right here. Here I have my chocolate reaper. Looking good. And then I have my Primo X bubblegum. My reaper from last season. Black cherry tongue. I mean black cherry tongue. What am I saying? Black scorpion tongue. Black scorpion tongue. Some pods right there. Calyx is nice and purple. Look at those. Very nice. Very nice. Focus. So. And then right here it is my Aki Chubby. My Yellow Reaper. My. Oh, my ghost pepper right here. Some Tabasco right there, not doing so good. Let's see what else I have. I have Yellow Reaper. Mm. Then right here I have my my big right chocolate. Right here I have my Congo Black Habanero. And right here I have another black scorpion tongue. Mind you, I have not topped none of these. I plan not to. Another yellow reaper right here. And then the ones I planted right here. Hollow's Eve. A mix pepper and then here I have a habanero orange habanero red reaper and then I have a chocolate reaper right here so those are the ones so far then I have some over here mixture of um Pavilion purple mixed peppers, black scorpion tongue, red primos, uh, chocolate reapers, just a little super hot here and there. So, guys, thanks for watching. That is the video. This is my raised bed. Um, it's a 4x4 four four raised bed, so I'm going to show you all the um, different bags of soil right now. Again, the tomatoes. And then there's Kitty. Say hi, Kitty. Say hi, Kitty. Uh, he, was, he was asleep. I woke him up. Here are the bags that went into the raised bed. Of course, I showed you this one, Kellogg. And another Kellogg's raised bed soil. Different varieties of soil went into this raised bed because I wanted to be in a budget and I succeeded so miracle girl and this is what this miracle girl has in it miracle girl I do not use miracle girl at all but like I said budget budget and it's just an experiment actually on how good these soils will perform together. And the ingredients. So. 
Yep. And this one right here, I recommend you not getting from Ace. I know, sorry Ace, but I found a piece of rebar in here. And um, plastic chips. So that is not good for your garden beds or pots. But I still put it in either way. And all these bags of soil went in all together with um, last season soil. I just reamended it. And uh, I put this is a whole bag of um, earthworm castings I was talking about. This full bag went into that bed. So last season soil I used um, all down all um, down to earth products plus the soil was all fox farms happy frog um, ocean forest and salamander and a cube of peat moss. Spagma peat moss. So I'll keep updating on you guys on this raised bed since I Frankenstein the soil. So with all these different bags. But um I must have spent less than huh. I say less than around like forty bucks on soil to top it off. With the rest of the soil that I had. This bin was full of last season soil to the top. So I reused it on the pots over there. I reused it on the bed. So we'll see. Well, here's Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Say hi. Say please like and subscribe to the videos. Kitty? Kitty? Are you ignoring me? Yeah, you just want to chill. That's a neighbor's cat. We adopt it sometimes. But, yep, that's the video. I'm going to go ahead and water down these with some... Y'all know it, what I'm going to say. You already know. Seaweed extract. As well as the bed. And, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a blessed weekend. Peace out. This is a weed blocker I got. For about six bucks. Measurements. Pretty good one. Looks nice and good fabric on it. Well, it's not, it's, I don't know what kind of fabric. It, it feels like fabric, but. It feels like poly also, like polyurethane. But it says it's fabric. So, yeah, that's the one I got. It was like about six bucks. So, that's what I got for the raised bed. Amongst the jungle, last season orange habanero it held up to the winter very good and my um that's my peach i forgot uh oh man i forgot which one it was it was peach though and right here I have my pimenta leopard. My Hallow's Eve. Got one Hallow's Eve right there. Uh, let me see here. Oh, starting to turn color already. Focus. Yeah, starting to turn color. 
never been topped. And then one of my red primos. So, and that's over here my giant white habanero. It's coming back little by little. So, yep. And this one is my, I forgot what this one is. What is it? Uh, my Habanero Banda Majac. There it is. So, yep, yeah, that's it.